These beautiful burgundy flowers are bursting from their hairy buds at the moment on this plant. It's a type of magnolia, it's called Magnolia Vulcan, and it's a hybrid between two species, one from tropical Asia, Magnolia Lilliflora variety nigra, and one that comes from the Himalayas, Magnolia Campbellii. And the form used in this was a form called Lanath, and that was bred in Cornwall. So this is a really international plant because it was bred in New Zealand and it was bred for these striking burgundy flowers. It's also got quite an upright form and it's a relatively small tree. It only grows to about six or eight meters. It is deciduous and the flowers tend to emerge before the season's new leaves which makes a really striking impact on the in a feature part of your garden. So here at the Royal Botanic Garden Sydney it's growing at the entrance to our rose garden. Now it's a very modern hybrid but of quite an ancient plant lineage. So the family it belongs to, Magnoliaceae, first appears in the fossil records about 95 million years ago. And many magnolias still have characteristics in their flowers that suggest that they were quite an early flowering plant. So these big blousy petals are actually quite robust and it's thought the earliest magnolias were probably pollinated by beetles. Not the most elegant flyers, needed a big target and a sturdy landing platform. So magnolia Vulcan, wonderful plant, beautiful burgundy flowers and a terrific plant as a feature in a, in a smaller garden. Another deciduous magnolia flowery now is magnolia yellow lantern and on the spring walk is magnolia figo fairy blush but you'll have to wait till summer to see magnolia grandiflora flowering.